After Acer introduced their new product lineup at their global press conference in New York, we took a short interview with John Midema, who is Acer's product business manager for Europe, Middle East and Africa region. So much is already known about their new products, but here is a bit more about Acer's goals in 2015 and a bit more about company's future strategy, of course. Well, I, I think that the motto behind it is that we want to have uh, to offer the customer choice. So not everyone is the same. So some will like a 17-inch uh, gaming notebook, some like a 13-inch ultrabook, and some like a 15-inch doing a little bit of everything. So uh, Acer has always been very strong in a broad portfolio. So we're not betting on only one form factor. We're uh, trying to reach the biggest audience there is with let's say, competitively priced uh, value for money uh, products. But at the same time, we want to slowly but steady also touch on the higher end uh, segments. So we have V-Nitro, which is very successful, and we will introduce our gaming notebooks towards the end of the year, which will address a higher end category uh, where we are not present today. Is that obviously we come from a, a little bit of a difficult time. So last year, the, the the purpose was to to reset the company and to turn it into profitability again, which we we did. Uh, so but we had to make some some sacrifices. We had to make some organizational change. And now we are returned to profitability. So now is the time to be become a brand and a credible brand again. And that's why we're putting a lot of efforts in in our new products and, and identifying the segments where we want to win. I think, mm -hmm. let's say, clamshell or traditional laptops will be around, uh, are around, will be around, uh, not for, maybe not forever, but for, still for a long time. If you look at the desktops, I think everyone is predicting the desktop will die already for the past 10 years, and guess what, they're still there. Maybe not in the same form, so there is some evolution in the form factor. So, I think, if you look at 10 years ago, you had a notebook, if you wanted to be a mobile, and you had a desktop if you wanted to be stationary. Now you have so many items in between, which I think they're all finding their way into a certain segment. So I do believe that we will have different products for different segments. So personally, I'm most excited about Predator. This was a, was a, let's say a five year project. Uh, so if you look at the river here, you cannot jump in one shot through this river. So that, and we also could not do a Predator notebook maybe four or five years ago. Because simply we did not have the brand credibility to be able to do that. So we started with 17 inch series, the standard V3 series where we put GTX, which was let's say taking the market by storm. We were really, really successful in, with this product. It gave us the level of confidence and the uh, uh, bandwidth to start V Nitro, which was a big success as well. And then third step is going to be the uh, is going to be Predator. So we had to make the steps in between because five years ago we were known for cheap products. So I think what we missed uh, is that we were over focusing on the more entry level stuff. Uh, so we were very strong in the in the cheaper products. And let's say the moment you see that the volume is going down and you're very depending on entry level, you, you have no way to counter and earn money. So we actively started to develop the more higher end products with V Nitro, uh, which are re reaching up to price points of 1499, uh, some other products which were filling gaps in our portfolio and let's say culminating in the announcement of, of Predator notebooks, uh, completing our Predator range. Uh, and making sure that we also have a very good visibility and, and, uh, and range in that segment. Well, we see that the competition is very strong. Uh, let's say it was almost like a perfect storm. We, we had a lot of management change, which obviously takes a lot of efforts to, to, to get the confidence back into the company. Uh, and at the same time, we see, let's say, global crisis. We see exchange rates going up and down and fluctuating, which is never good. Uh, we see competition very strong. So the, the competitive landscape has increased a lot. Uh, and then economic situations, uh, crisis in Russia and in, in, in Greece and, and exchange rate uh, drops, they are not helping. But, okay, I think we've come out quite strong. Uh, we've been focusing on, 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 on 
and getting things back on track. They are back on track, so now we're going the next step to make sure that we have the right products again and start to win market share back and, and, and even being even more productive and more uh, very profit, profitable. It's a, as a relatively small company and a very competitive market as, as smartphones is, uh, we want to do, uh, let's say, a concentrated approach. So we go in somewhere where we're confident that we can handle, then we deploy there, and then the moment that's working, we expand to some other countries and then expand to some other countries so again. So it's more like so step by step. Yeah, we don't want to spread our resources too thin and then be, let's say, not on the radar everywhere. It's, then it's better to say we're going to focus on three countries or five or whatever amount of countries, do a good job there, establish, and then start thinking about it. Otherwise you spread your, your resources too thin and you will not be just like a drop in the ocean. Is this just the, the smartphone approach or...? Well, in some other, let's say Chromebook, we, we, tend, we tend to do the same. So it's also something where Chromebooks obviously is a different cell than a standard notebook. There's, there's a lot of things you can do with a Chromebook, but there's also some things you cannot do with a Chromebook. And we need to make sure that, that our resellers, our retailers, are able to, to, to sell that, to, to set the right expectations, and also for end customers to be able to understand that. Because we don't want them to pick up something thinking it is a cheap netbook or netbook 2.0 and find that it doesn't really meet their expectations. So we really need to the right bring all the, yeah, the, the right product the, yeah, at the right time, which is marketing 101, but it is very much true.